Hello, welcome back to the next problem number 2.10 from the open MB book. In this problem, uh, input signal x of t is given, that is a pulse signal that is lie between the t is, from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 1. And impulse response function that is equal to h of t is equal to x of t upon alpha and alpha lies in the range from 0 to 1. In the part number a, they are asking to determine the value of the output of that system and that is equal to y of x of t convolution h of t and in the part number b they are asking the value of alpha in such a way so that the output of this system having only three discontinuity continuities output means d over dt of yt having only three discontinuities if we solve this question then we will go from pictorially approach because this will be helpful while solving this question if we draw x of t that is given in the problem that it will be a, it looks like a pulse from 0 to 1 this is x of t and if we find h of t that is equal to x of t upon alpha that will look like from 0 to alpha this is also look like pulse this is h of t and the output of this term is y of t is equal to x of t convolution h of t in part number a we have to determine this and if we operate if we open this operator then y of t will be y of t will be minus infinite to infinite x of tau h of t minus tau d tau this is the output of the system now we have to keep in mind one thing we have to find the product of x of tau h of t minus tau in such a way so that it will be non-zero we have to keep in mind only this thing so if we determine x of tau then x of tau will look like a pulse from 0 to 1 and having amplitude 1 and h of t minus tau will look like h of t minus tau i am drawing directly without using any calculation h of t minus tau look like this from minus alpha plus t to t this is h of t minus tau we will get easily this with the help of two property that is time scaling and time shifting by using these property we will we can easily get h of t minus tau now the main part of this problem is to define the limit of the t this is the main part of this part question now we have to keep in mind one thing we have to determine the value of t this is t i am using another color we have to determine the value of t in such a way so that the product of x of tau and h of t minus tau will be non-zero only this thing we have to keep in mind so in case number one 
I am assuming that t is lies from t greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to alpha. In case number 1, I am assuming this one. So let's see what is the overlap area for this value of t. So if we draw the product of x of tau and h of t minus tau for this range for the range of value of t for this case then it will look like this is x of tau from 0 to 1 and if we draw h of t minus tau then it will look like t minus alpha plus t c this is the overlap area for this case and this is y t for case number 1 if we find y t numerically then y of t is equal to 4 from tau is equal to 0 to tau is equal to t because only this range of value of tau the area the area is overlapping means y of t is non-zero for this range of tau x of tau is 1 and h of tau is also 1 and data then y of t in this case is equal to t now case number 2 Now we have to select another range of t so that in this case the product of the x of tau and h of t minus tau is non-zero. So I am assuming t is lying from alpha to 1. This is the value of t is greater than or equal to alpha and less than or equal to 1. If we draw the product of x of tau and h of t minus tau for this case then it will look like this is tau this is x of tau from 0 to 1 and h of t minus tau is from minus alpha plus t to t and see this is the overlap area in this case if we find overlap area numerically then this will be from tau is equal to minus alpha plus t to t and x of tau is equal to 1 and h of t minus tau is 1 because the amplitude is 1 d tau then in this case y of t is equal to t minus minus alpha plus t then y of t is equal to alpha for case number 2 and like this in case number 3 I am assuming the value of t from 1 to 1 plus alpha and for this case if we draw the product of x of tau and h of t minus tau then that will look like this is tau this is x of tau from 0 to 1 if we draw h of t minus tau in this case then this will look like this is h of t minus tau from minus alpha plus t to t and see the overlap area in this case is this one 
this is the product of x of tau and h of t minus tau if we find numerically y of t in this case then this will be from tau is equal to minus alpha plus t to tau is equal to 1 because overlap area is only in this range and x of tau is 1 h of t minus tau is 1 d tau then y of t is equal to 1 plus alpha minus t this is the output in case number 3 only these three cases are possible for different different value of t for this problem and if you will try to find for another case then on that case the output y of t will be zero you can try that one if you want and if we draw or summarize the output for different value of t then y of t is equal to t for t less than or equal to alpha and greater than or equal to 0 alpha for t less than or equal to 1 and greater than or equal to alpha and 1 plus alpha minus t for t greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to less than or equal to 1 plus alpha and for all other cases y of t is equal to 0 elsewhere this is the output if we draw this signal y of t then it will look like a trapezium this is look like a trapezium this is 0 this is alpha and this is 1 and this is 1 plus alpha from 0 to alpha this is t from alpha to 1 from alpha to 1 this is alpha to 1 in this case the output will be alpha and from 1 to 1 plus alpha in this case the output will be 1 plus alpha minus t this is y of t for part number a and in part number b in part number b they are asking the value of alpha for d over d of t y of t having three discontinuity only having three discontinuities only for this case they are asking the value of alpha now first we have to find what is d over dt of yt then first y of t is it is look like a trapezium for 0, alpha, 1, 1 plus alpha. And if we differentiate this, then first I am ignoring the amplitude of this uh, y of t. And if we differentiate this, then d over dt of yt will look like d over dt of yt will look like if we differentiate this then it is for this case this is look like a pulse and for this range this is constant so the differentiation will be zero and for this the slope is negative so d over dt y of t is look like this this is alpha this is one and this is 1 plus alpha this is 0 this is t now they are saying that now first we have to check that how many discontinu discontinuities in d over dt of yt now see 
first discontinuity at this point one second is at t is equal to alpha third one is t is equal to one and fourth one is at t is equal to one plus alpha this is the means there are four discontinuities in d over dt of yt now they are saying that for three discontinuities then we have to have, we have to think how three discontinuities discontinuities is possible in d over dt of yt then three discontinuities is possible only when if this point will coincide means there will be no gap here that means that means if the diff differentiation of output will look like this one means 0 1 and 1 plus alpha means first discontinuity discontinuity at here and second at here and third at here that means if alpha is equal to 1 if alpha is equal to 1 then there are only three discontinuities three discontinuities in d over dt of yt this is the problem that they ask in the part number b hence if we summarize then for alpha is equal to 1 for alpha is equal to 1 there are three discontinuities three discontinuities in d over dt of yt Hence, this is the answer of problem number 2.10. Thank you.